Today, we're going to make a word cloud so we can feel out the vibe of a brand, a product, or a term that people are searching for that's relevant to us and our focus companies that we care about and want to help succeed. So Answer the Public is a particular site where you can get these amazing graphics and pieces of data about search. So right now I have Drunk Elephant up, which surprisingly is not about harming animals. Thank goodness it is about some sort of moisturizer or something that my students like to turn in as a project. I don't know why, but thank you for sharing that with me. We've got a search volume of 135,000 and a cost per click of 23 cents and this awesome structure they have about the questions that people ask, the who, the why, the which, the can. So can it cause acne? Why? Why it's the best? Why it's bad? Why it's expensive? Those aren't that interesting. Why, when did it come out? When was it created? A little backstory to the entrepreneurialism of this drunk elephant. Does it have fake tan? Does it? Whatever. Okay, we want to figure out that vibe with our own tool. So we're going to download this data and clean it up in Excel. So what we can do to download the data is scroll up and find the icon there for download and download that. We want the free version right now, which is only 30 rows of data, but that's okay. So we're just going to drop that into our download folder and we're going to be able to pull that up in Excel and clean it up before we bring it into Tableau. You can do that with Tableau Prep, but it's a little bit easier to just focus on Excel and Tableau today. Probably in your roles, mostly in your careers, you'll have access to Excel. And if you're a student, you should have an O365 account with access to Microsoft Excel. So do that and take that first row like I just did, highlight that row one and delete it. That is just telling you what the search term was and the date. Thanks, but no thanks. That's not helpful data. We need everything in nice clean tables just with our rows of data and the column field titles there. What we're going to do is take that phrase it is in column C. I'm going to double click that so you can see the whole phrase. We want all of those individual words to be able to be graphed in Tableau. So I'm going to cut and paste that to that last one. I want to have a continuous set of data. So I'm going to remove column C. We've got suggestion here in H, highlight column H, and one of the best tools in Excel that you probably will use in the future in the data tab up here in the menu. We've got a few really cool things. We have text to column, so we're gonna click that. We get a wizard that pops up and it says delimited. That means how is it broken apart and how do you know you're going to add a new field based on something like a tab, a column, a dash, a colon, a semicolon, whatever it is, you're going to click next and it's going to ask you and give you those options. It's a space. That's how we know there's another word. There's a space. So you can click next, 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 whatever, or finish because that is all we need to know. Now we've got all of those break broken out into different columns. I'm just going to give these a little title. Doesn't matter what it is because we're going to smoosh it back together when it's in Tableau. So I'm just doing S5, S6, S7, S8, and S9 coming up here. And we are going to save this as a cleaned data file so that we can open it up nicely in Tableau. So we're going to call that C2. I'm going to do a new sheet here. We've got our data add new data source. If it's a new Tableau file, you're going to do the same thing, but it'll be a file open from here. Works kind of the same way. And so now we're going to look for our drunk elephant file. So you'll see those columns we created from suggestions. So I'm going to click here at the top of that piece of data in that row and click shift on my keyboard, click the last one. So it highlights all of them. going to right click on that and click pivot and it's going to turn all of those into two rows. So instead of having that all spaced out on those rows, it's going to make a bunch of repeated ones in what it's calling pivot field names. That is the suggestion and the other suggestions. So all of the different words. So it's a little bit weird in a word salad there, but what this really just is is search word because that's all we care about right now. So let's make it simple. We're going to go to that new sheet and search word is what we're going to drop in on the text. Those are all the words that we have all in one file. What Tableau does, if you can expand this, you can see every row has a count. So all of those words are counted in Tableau and we can 
drop that onto size. So if they are repeated more than once, they are big. So that first big one is null. That's a space. So I don't really care about that. It's not telling us anything interesting. Now, if we had an absolute ton of data, you would probably see these repeated a whole bunch more times and there'd be a lot more variation in the size of the words. So you could do that with some of your other data files as well. Drunk elephant obviously is going to be the most repeated here because that's what they're searching for. So some of these are useful or not. Remember, you are in charge of your visualization. If it's not useful, you remove it. This isn't some sort of scientific experiment where everything must be in there and it has to be that way or there's no integrity to the assignment. That is not the case. You are looking for the vibe. So figure out whatever is useful to you and discard the rest. But what we can do here is click control on the search word so it stays right there and we can drop that onto color. Normally, I don't like this many colors because more than three or four isn't great for a lot of brain processing. We are not any more smart than like crows, for example. And so we need to hide that and you can see all of the different words that we've got. And we have it in a tree map. So I said word clouds. So I don't know. I did not lie to you. We can do that as well. You can change that drop down from automatic back to the text that we have. And now you've got our word cloud for drunk elephant right here. Yeah.